Hey there. I'm glad you've joined us out here in my little camper. I lovingly call it Little Lady Lucy Blue. And I'm glad you're here to talk with us just for a few minutes about a very important topic, even if it sounds a smidgen humorous on the surface. And that is what we should do to plan ahead for the event of not having an endless supply of toilet paper at our local grocery store. And I wanna give you my honest review of Wizzy Wipes and the like. You may have heard of them already. If not, you'll learn about them today and what I really think about them. So stay with us. I want to talk to you today about toilet paper. I realized this when I went for one full month without buying anything new from the grocery store. I just wanted to see which supplies were going to run out first and how quickly I was using the stockpile of things that I had. It was such a good rehearsal and I would encourage you to do that. If you want to learn more about simplifying your life, you can look over at our video on simplify simplification, which is where I got the idea to take a whole month and not buy anything at all. But in that month, I realized kind of how fast I was going through toilet paper. And it is amazing. You might not use a whole lot on a regular basis, but I googled it and it said that an average roll of toilet paper has about a hundred uh, squares of toilet paper in it. Now this is a double roll that you're looking at, so I think that has probably about double that. But with the average toilet paper having about a hundred squares, I want you to just pay attention to about how much you use on an average in squares of toilet paper and kind of gauge ahead. Okay, if my family averages out at certain number of squares used per day, that means we're gonna go through a whole lot of toilet paper over the course of a month. And it might be important for you to just know those facts, write them down, tuck them away for a rainy day. Now, let's get to the concept of what happens when the grocery stores stop carrying all of these wonderful necessities that we've grown so accustomed to. What is your backup plan? Some people say, oh, I'll use newspapers. Well, the newspaper will probably stop running, so you'll probably need to use whatever you have on hand already there at the house. And if you have a great big stack of newspapers, that's great, go knock yourself out. Also, you might wanna th think about, you know, how many Kleenexes you have in the house. And it's good for you to go ahead and stock up on these boxes of Kleenexes. Sometimes you can get them for about a dollar at the dollar store. Go ahead and get a good stockpile of boxes of these. That's a great alternate option. Also, I like to carry a number of these in bug out bags and in the cars and everywhere there's a good place to stuff a little, um, you know, carry with you Kleenex batch. Th these are very handy to have on hand. So those are some options. Now I want to talk to you about what you've heard probably popularly talked about as an alternate to toilet paper, and that is Wizzy Wipes. They look about like this. I don't know if you can see them over here, but I've got a basket full of them. They actually look just like little white mints. So you want to make sure you have educated your children properly because literally this could make a terrible choking hazard. I've opened one of them already and it is smaller around than a quarter. Quarter. I'm guessing it's even a hint smaller around than a nickel. It's very, very small um, and it's about that thick. I don't know if you can see that, but just about like three nickels stacked on top of each other maybe is what I'm guessing at the most, right? Now the strategy that they say for this, and I want you to hear this, I've heard so many reviews on YouTube of people that just love these and swear by them as the perfect option. And I just wanna ask them, are you serious? Are you kidding me? As a woman, I don't go through a great deal of toilet paper, but in the event of a disaster, the last thing I want to do is have to fool with this. If I were to be stuck using something like this, it requires water to be poured on it. So I can either spit on it multiple times. And to be honest with you, I've tried that. I'm not gonna do it on camera because it actually, for me, I couldn't come up with enough spit to make it um, have enough moisture to unravel correctly. It just, it needs enough moisture for that to work. So that means you have to have water on hand. And if you do, that's great. But in the event that you're running out to the woods or stranded in the woods, you may or may not have water right with you. But watch closely. I'm gonna take just a little bit of this and pour it right on here. And you're gonna see what happens. I'll pour just, oh, there we go. So we've got just maybe a tablespoon of water on there that I poured over the top. I'll turn it over and, well, 
it might not need any more. Hold on. Let's see. There it comes. So it's unraveling nicely. There's the first thickness of it. And we'll unravel it again here. These are ingenious. I really am thankful for whoever did invent them, just so you know. But I'm going to continue to unravel this. And what we come up with is this wonderful, it's about the size of a, of a hand washcloth, right? That you're used to. I'm going to stretch it out here. And if I stretch it out on all four corners, to just get it as wide as it can get. It still stretches out to, oh, just a more of an oblong shape. Now, I'm thankful that it's that big. I don't like the idea. I don't know if you can see the little holes in it, but it does look like it has holes in it, and that scared me a lot when I first was introduced to these. It is nice and thick. It's a little bit thicker than toilet paper, so I'm thankful for that, and it's certainly more sturdy. You can see that it uh, is very sturdy under me, uh, especially when I pull it this way. I don't know that I could pull it apart easily. This way I think I could probably just pull it open like that. You see how it kind of disintegrates as I pull it apart at least to the left and right, maybe not up and down. All right. Now, think about this though. You've just got a whizzy wipe and you're out in the wilderness and you need that. First of all, it's going to be pretty wet. So get ready for cold and wet. It's not warm. It's not comforting at all. In fact, it's quite woo, obnoxious. <laughs> I've got another one here that's dry that I opened the other day, and I just want you to see the measurement of it, okay? So what I did, look down here at my lap a minute. I'm going to show you. I took and measured toilet paper out next to it to just see how much toilet paper we're talking about this equaling. And what it comes up with is almost the perfect uh, length of three squares of toilet paper and three squares of toilet paper. So that's equal to about six squares of toilet paper that we've got right there. Now, mind you, it is a smidgen thicker than toilet paper. So I would say it might be worth, you know, three squares again, but that means nine squares of toilet paper at the most that this is worth. Secondly, you can't do too much with it as far as, uh, unless you carry scissors with it and you wanna cut it down the middle and then have something that's more familiar than what you're used to. You can uh, fold it in half and wrap it around your hand and it does make a nice covering. Also, there are no holes once you've got it wound around your hand, so I'm thankful for that. But what I decided to tell you as my honest opinion of this is, please, 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 this is my plea to you all out there in <laughs> YouTube land. Somebody please invent something better than this. I'm thankful for this. This is a great option. It's small. We can carry it with us and we, you can divvy these up however many you've got between all the family members so everybody can carry some in their pockets. I like that. But in reality, I would love to take and say if each of these is worth six to nine squares of toilet paper and you can get about a hundred of them for about 10 bucks to 15 bucks. So you're talking about 10 to 15 cents per little whizzy wipe. If that's how much you're paying for that, what's the difference in what, how many squares of toilet paper that's worth? I think it's just good math that we might want to do. And I would love for somebody to go out there and invent an option that is different than this that might be better. I don't know what it is, but just get your brain kind of wheels turning and somebody do that. I will gladly fund your GoFundMe campaign if you can come up with a better idea than this. All right, so that's the first thing I wanted to show you. But while we're on the topic of this, I wanted to tell you, if by chance you are bugging in, so you're in your home and the grid were to go down, yes, the toilets will function for a very short time, but with electricity out, even the toilets will only function for a very short period and then they will not function um, if, you're, if you're hooked into city sewer. Now, if you're out there in the country and you have your own septic system, that's awesome. That's a great, great option. But for the rest of folks that are dependent on the grid and dependent on the city sewer system, there's one piece that you need to absolutely know you need to get. Let me show this to you. This is a luggable loo. It's an ingenious little invention someone had. And if you get one of these, all the other thing that you need to have with it is a five gallon bucket. So 
I went out and I got myself a five gallon bucket. It's good to have it a darker color so everybody in the family knows the black bucket is just for the Legable Lou, nothing else, because you never want to use food in that or anything else later on. So I'm gonna just um, pull this out so you can see it here if I can get it open. This is like a toilet lid that has kind of a nice thick ceiling lid surface to it. And you just put it on a five gallon bucket and preferably you put a nice trash bag inside that is not one of your Kroger or grocery bags that's gonna have holes in the bottom. Those are notorious for having little holes, so that's not what you want. But a good trash bag in the bottom of this, seal it up with this lid that's gonna have a nice closing to it. And then you need to have a method to not only wipe with for your family, but also for putting on top of whatever you put in this legable loo. So after each person's use, you need to either put preferably something very strong, but even if you don't have something strong, you would put just a good shovel of dirt in there, or you could put um, the ashes from the fireplace. That's a very, very good option, as long as they're cold and not still possibly with glowing embers in them. You don't want that. But ashes from the fireplace, or if you've got sawdust, or if you have lime, some of that mixed in, those are all gonna be good things for you to just put in on top of this until it gets about halfway full. Don't wait till it's all the way full or you're gonna really regret it, I promise you. But if you can uh, empty this about, whenever it gets about halfway full, you're gonna be thanking yourself and you're gonna wanna get some of these Wizzy wipes that help you once you've run out of toilet paper. Now, last thing I wanna show you is this. When you've got Wizzy wipes, if you do go with these until we find a better option, there are some wonderful little uh, canisters that you can buy with the Wizzy wipes or you can use something you already have on hand. This that I've got here happens to be a little powdered electrolyte elixir uh, from Camelback that is just the perfect container. It's waterproof and it holds about 12 of these little Wizzy wipes and it keeps them waterproof and I can stuff that in a bug out bag and it's perfect. And each member of the family can fill one of these up. These also fit perfect in those little waterproof uh, matches cases, the bright orange ones that you've seen so often, you can get them in Walmart or anywhere else. You might want to get some of those that work the same way that this does and just take off the lid and tap yourself out one of your Wizzy wipes anytime you need it. All right, so that's all I've got for you. Please go out there and invent something better, but until you do, this is the best thing that they've come up with. I encourage you to get some for your family, tuck them away. Remember that even toilet paper on the shelf isn't indefinitely shelf stable. It kind of disintegrates, especially if it's ever expo exposed to any moisture. So it's good for you to rotate through even that supply of toilet paper and keep on hand some of these Wizzy wipes that are kind of sealed and keep just a little bit longer on the shelf as well. All right, with no further ado, let me know what you think. If you have a better option, we want to hear about it because I am all ears. Until we see you on the next video, go out and be a blessing to someone today. And thank you for sharing and comments. All your comments are so welcome and so encouraging. We look forward to seeing you on the next one. Hey, before you go, let me leave you with this very short but very powerful promise out of the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 19. It says this, Stand firm, and you will win life. Now go spread the word.